Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. I am back in my old stomping ground. I'm here at David Hume Park Golf Club and I'm gonna play, we we'll play a few holes. I don't actually know how many holes we're gonna play just yet. Golf course is nice and quiet. I've come out at the perfect time of the day. It's calm, slightly spitting a little bit of rain, which is pretty normal for the North, but I'm out today with my old faithfuls. As I'm back in Manchester, I don't have all of my clubs with me, so I've packed the necessities. I've packed the driver and I've packed the putter two clubs that I know I need regardless and at home I've got a couple of the old faithfuls that I'm looking forward to using so recently I changed my clubs from the Titleist MBs to the Titleist T100s and at home I just happen to have a set of MBs they're not the exact ones I traded out they are the model before the ones that I've traded out but they're all pretty much the same they're MBs they can't change that much I've also got my old Cobra wedges in there so if you've been following the channel for a while you will know for a period of time I was sponsored by Cobra and Puma so got some Cobra wedges in there and the one I'm looking forward to hitting the most and even though this is a par 5 start I'm going to be using it is the nice the old bluey it's the Nike Vapor 3 wood. I love it. I can't wait to hit it. Every time I see it, I just want to hit a stinger. Come on. Beauty, this is. Beauty. Oh, yes. Shout out to Guy Charnock, the Rick Shields partner in crime. He gave me this years ago. Lovely three wood, lovely trusty bluey there coming up trumps as it always does, always does. Distance wise I'm about where I used to be when I was a junior but with a driver so I'm a little bit longer, get in. So I can see the 150 markers there, I would say I've got about 170-ish and I've got a 9 iron out because it's downwind and obviously from memory it's a little bit downhill so if I do land it short it'll leap forward. If I carry it onto the green, it should be a bit more receptive. A little bit of helping wind as well. Oh, it's a good strike and it's all over the flag. It is money. Be the number, be the number. Sit there. Oh, I don't really know what to say. Um, I think it's took a little kick left, so it must have landed a little bit on the short side. And it's kind of on the down slope of the bunker, I think, or it's gone past that, it's on the green, who knows? Guys, who knows? We'll see in a minute, it was a good shot. Okay, we've got the Eagle Putt, we're on this little slope, so it's not, must have landed a little bit on the short side, which I thought it would do. To be honest, an A-time probably would have carried at the flag and then rolled off the back. So I'm happy with this, to be honest. I've got a chance of an Eagle Putt. A bit firm, needs to hit it, needs to hit it. Oh God, that was, that was rubbish. That was a bit firm, wasn't it? Right, this is not the putter one, so that was very poor pace from there, really. Hit that way too firm. Okay, this is for birdie, though, so still got a chance. Green's rolling well. Let's see how the stroke's rolling. Gotcha. In we go, walked it in. Birdie star, let's go. Right, one of my favourite holes on the golf course here. 254 yard par four. Risk or reward. And we are taking the risk. Road down the right. For all the slices out there, click the like, comment below, whichever one you want to do. How many of you are going on that road? I've been on that road countless times. Right, this is 254. I'm going to hit a big cut. So I've got the old bluey out for the big cut because this is... I need to take a bit off this. Done it. It's got to be on the green. It's either the green side bunker or on the green. That was a beaut. All right, the old blue, he did it again. 254 yard par four, big high cut over the back of the green. Okay, so we've got 54 degree and actually here in Manchester. So good, actually, this is, I did do this a little bit in Dubai last year where took my 58 out of the bag because I'm so reliant on it. So I wanted to get a little bit better with my 54. Not saying I'm going to hit a good shot now, like, but I'm, I'm suggesting that to help your short game, take out the club during practice that you're most reliant on just to give you a different perspective of shots. So I've got a 54 degree. I'm going to open up the blade and try and land it on the fringe. 
Oh, just the track underneath that. I feel happy with it in a weird way. Not in a way that I'm going to make an easy birdie, but it's enough that it's kind of shot forward for me. But huh, there's a lot more grass than I expected there. Always look, I used to always look at hole six and seven as two very good birdie opportunities. The first five holes here at the golf course can sometimes be a little bit flaky. It used to be a little bit flaky for me. And then eight, nine and ten are quite tricky. So I always pinpointed six and seven as thinking I have to make a birdie on at least one of them. So this is a good opportunity to go birdie birdie, albeit a poor chip. That's a poor putt read that actually it went a little bit left to right at the start and then it just never really came back enough but one under through two not bad eighth hole sweeping dog leg from left to right 397 yards got the old bluey out this might stay, honestly this might stay in the bag right i'm gonna fade it there's a cross on one of the trees in the distance that used to be the driver line now i'm gonna go left of it with a little cut to end up right of it Oh no. There wasn't too much being hit. I've gone right down the tree line. Oh, that was poor. Got in my own head then. Aimed left into the trees. Got panicky that it wouldn't fade back. And I've still got 200 yards left. So I've not hit that very well or very far at all off the tee. So I'm going to be aiming a good bit left here. I'm going to try and really cut this, but I'm going to have to commit to it because I can't go, I can't cut it early. It's going to be the big fade. Oh, hit it amazing. And straight. Oh, it's come out. <laughs> it clattered straight into the trees. You may have even have heard it, I'm not sure but it has bounced out. I've got no, no, no idea what sort of line I'm going to have, but I know where the ball is. Let's locate it. Found it. <laughs> okay, there is a gap. If I can keep it close to here, below here, over the bunker with a bit of spin, there's a chance of an up and down. It's, hard, it's so hard to hit this shot because when you look at the line of the golf ball, there's definitely a gap, literally to the flag. But when you stand and approach the golf ball, I actually look at the flag from the left side. So this bit is kind of in between me and the ball, which is such a weird optical illusion to kind of commit to. I'm going to obviously aim right at the flag. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not that stupid. I'm not the brightest, but I'm not stupid. Right, what I'm actually going to do with my hands on this as well, I don't want to obviously get too much loft. I don't want to go too high. I'm just going to allow the club face just to kind of rotate through impact just to kind of almost like a bit of a draw spin style shot. So I get plenty of height. I'm not going to get loads of fast stop, but I want to make sure I keep it low enough here. I was contemplating hitting the 50 degree, but yeah, I'm not. Hit it well. Over the other side of the green. I've actually hit that way too well. I've, I've played that quite nicely. I've just carried it a bit too far. All right, over the back. Got a 50 degree, have a little chip and run across the green. Fourth shot though. Something a nice, something miraculous would be ideal. I'm gonna lift the shaft up a little bit just so the heel doesn't get stuck. It's usually about a 50 50 land and roll. Guys, we're struggling. That's poor again. I can barely hit the green there. I'm not even sure that's on the camera, is it? This hole has felt like hard work. I'll be honest, if I didn't love Bluey so much, I'd have hit a three iron and a six iron. No, three iron, seven iron, three iron, eight iron, something like that. But instead, that tee shot has literally cost me. You could also argue the second shot was a bit optimistic. <laughs> Salvage a double. Oh, well, guys, that was a bad hole, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, so growing up the ninth hole here at Davy Hume Park Golf Club was actually statistically the hardest hole in the golf course. It's a par three, 169 yards. It's not even that long, but it was just brutal. The green used to be so narrow, it's almost impossible to hit it. 
well it felt impossible it wasn't impossible obviously it's a bit easy now they've got a little bit more generous with the green i'm sure committee meeting after committee meeting member complaints after member complaints greenkeeper probably finally gave in and went yes okay i will make it easier for you so it's a lot wider now than it was but we've still got to hit it flags right on the very back edge i'm just going to go i'm ignoring the flag really I'm just going to take dead aim for the center of the green either draw or fade it depending on what sort of swing i do pure it that needs to sit that was absolutely pure oh oh yes guys playing a team match on the green on the green next to me so didn't want to be too animated but get in buzzing with that so that's a good bird that's a good follow-up birdie on a very very tough hole well not tough anymore um okay last hole hole 10 what i think is the hardest hole in the golf course stroke index two so it means as good as 407 yards dog leg to the right very tree lined tee shot is key when I was a junior, I was obsessed with being able to hit it straight over the corner. So I'm going to do it today. I think I can do it now. I think I'm old enough now to be able to do it. <laughs> so I used to be, I used to want to like always hit driver straight over the corner because when you could, the assistant pro at the time could do it. So we'd always have like a wedge in. I would have to hit like a three wood or, a, or like a, a, a three iron or something and just down, keep it down the left. But I'd always have like a six iron into the green. So it used to anger me so much. Right, so I'm gonna hit driver straight over the trees, maybe even with a little fade. Why not? I reckon I've got this in my lock. I've got absolutely no idea how far it is, to be honest. I'm going purely off memory. So I'm based on the fact that I should be able to do it. Oh, I've got a wedge in. That was pure. And it faded. That is so good. That, honestly, to me, that is like a childhood dream that I've just fulfilled there at the age of 36. Right, got to the corner, cleared it. I told you I cleared it, that was beautiful. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One twelve-ish to the middle of the green. That's probably where the flag is, to be fair. It looks like it's in the center. So one twelve. Would be a full sandwich to be honest, but I've actually got the 50 degree. I'm a bit more of an advocate for kind of hitting these shots a bit more of a three quarter rather than full. I feel like you've got more control of your spin, your, your height, and your distance. Pulled it. I've got a lovely bounce. I'm on the green, but I kind of just a weird strike. Kind of middled, but pulled disappointing all right walking up to the green poor poor approach shot i'm sorry about that i really wanted to end on a high now we could end up on a mirror of a miracle shot but if we don't i want to take this time to say a massive thank you to debut park golf club for having me down it's great to be back it's a it's my childhood golf course it's the first golf club i was a member at I've seen a lot of old faces that i've got older i know you're watching i've also got older and fatter and still crapper at golf but you know what we love it and this is why we're here so a massive thank you to them for having us down shout out to the pro martin hamer as well for his hospitality today massively appreciate it i'm going to try and hold this massively long birdie put on the last but i think level par is not bad to be fair i'll take it guys thanks very much for watching see me out with the birdie if not a par i'll see you in the next video please do subscribe click the like follow me on my social media platforms i'm in the uk for summer so follow me on social media platforms see what we're getting up to and today's video very close to saying goodbye